What's up fam bam guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get your DLSS 3.5 or XESS on Starfield. And it's really simple to do. I'm going to have the links right down in the description box down below. So you can follow along really easy. And I know it's going to be a lot of different downloads, but I promise it's going to be a lot easier than it looks. What you're going to do is you're going to go into Nexus Mods, you're going to type in mod organizer so once you type that in you're going to see mod organizer 2 and you're going to click that once you go to more mod organizer 2 you're going to hit manual download and then you're just going to hit free now if you're new to nexus mods you're going to have to create a brand new account when you create the account then you can download this mod but once you do it's going to just download it into a standard uh, execution file to where you open it up and you set it up just like any other mod once that is finished you're going to download and install this execution file which i will show you it should look like mod organizer 2.6194 now when you do install it you don't have to open it right away and the reason being is because once you open up this setup file or once you open up the program, it's going to ask you for which game you want to install it for. And if you're trying to download it for Starfield, it's not going to be quite available just quite yet. So you're going to have to download a plugin for Mod Organizer to recognize Starfield. And again, everything will be down in the description box down below if you don't want to really look and search for it. So you're going to find Starfield plugin for Mod Organizer 2 is what is exactly what you need. And once you download this file, just download it manually. And once you download it manually, you're going to have it inside of your downloads folder. Once you have it in your downloads folder, and it should look just like this. And what you will do is you're going to extract it first. So we're just going to open, open it with 7-zip for now. And what we will do is extract it to the downloads folder. It's going to look like this, where it says plugins, basic games, games, and game underscore starfield.py. So what you will have to do is you're going to click Control C or Control X so you can bring it over to your mods folder. Make sure mod organizer is closed when you do this. And again, you shouldn't be opening up the program just quite yet. Just make sure you do this step first. So you go into the modding mod organizer 2 and then you're going to see plugins you're just going to paste it this shouldn't pop up but because i've already have installed it into mod organizer 2 uh, this will pop up for me but for you guys more than likely it's just going to go in real smooth and you shouldn't have any pop-up but now mod organizer is ready for you to open it up once you open up Mod Organizer, it's going to look something like this. Mine's will pop up just like this. And some of you might actually run into an error to where it says the game doesn't have the system mod I and I. And I'll show you how to access that. Now, you might not quite get to this screen yet because you're probably going to have that error. So there is going to be another step you're going to have to partake. You go into Documents, My Games, and Starfield. And here you'll see Starfield Preference and Starfield Custom. Now, the error that you're seeing will say Starfield Custom. I and I does not. As you see that I currently do have the I and I file. And I'll show you what to do. Now, because you don't have this I and I file, you're going to just simply recreate it. You're going to go to Starfield Preferences. Right-click it. Open it with Notepad. And what you're going to do is you're just going to simply file and you're going to save as and then you're going to type all you're going to switch it to all files and then you're going to put starfield custom just as it is here and then at the end of it put dot i and i and then click save and once you do that you should be able to open up a mod organizer once you open up mod organizer then you should have the screen like this now all you have to do is install this upscaler base plugin and this is also not too bad to do replacing fsr with the ls and xess 
And what you will do is you're going to download this file first, but there's also one more part to this file that you will need. You're going to go to manual and you're also going to download it manually. You can download either one of these versions, just manually download them because you don't have the base for this file just yet. And I'll explain that in a second. So first step, just download either one. Either one will work. One will work with auto HDR and the other one can work with, has better uh, shading and better CAS sharpening. So download either one of these and they will both contain the XESS file or the DLSS 3.5 file. Next, you go down here, you see Upscaler Base Plugin, you're gonna need this. So you're gonna download this, and when you do, go to Manual, and you're gonna download it. Now it's gonna say Upscaler Base Plugin. So what you will do is you're gonna keep it in the zip file, but put it somewhere where you can remember. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on here and click Install Mod. And when you go into Install Mod, go to Downloads, and you're going to go to Upscaler Base Plugin. Once you install that portion of it, this will pop up. Now when that does, right click it and then go into Information. And you see this folder right here? You're going to right click it, open and explore. Originally, these files won't be in here. You won't see this MVNGX DLS, DLSS dot DLL. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this file. And the way you do that is you're going to go into your downloads folder. Now you're going to open this up. And what you will do is you're going to copy it and then paste it right into here. So once you have that installed and you just have one last step. And I promise this is the last step. And then you can finally play the game with DLSS 3.5 or XESS. So go to downloads. You're going to go to Starfield Upscaler. You're going to open this up and you see all these files right here. You're going to have to extract all this stuff that you see here. Go to this PC, C drive, go to programs files, go to Steam, and then you're going to go to Steam apps. You're going to go into common and then you're going to go into Starfield. And when you do, so you're just going to copy all this and you're going to paste it into your Starfield folder and drag it over. And the reason why you need this is so that way you can be able to see it inside a Starfield. Otherwise, you're going to have an issue trying to open up the menu to where you go into Starfield. Now, all that's completed. Now, it should look something like this. Just make sure it is checked before you enter the game. It should have Starfield readily available. And all you have to do is click run. Once you hit run, just hit unlock. And I'll show you exactly how it looks like. So now we got that mod working correctly. You're gonna see it up here on to the top. Now all you have to do is click the home button and the DLSS menu will come up and you can choose your preset and you can select DLSS or XESS, whichever you choose. Now when you do play the game, it will not let you select through gra the graphical menu anymore as it will do everything practically automatically for you to make it more compatible with your PC. Ever since this DLSS 3.5 mod, it's been excellent. I've noticed a big increase in frame rates up to 30 frames per second of a difference and everything looks a lot better shading wise and it is a much sharper images when you do play the game. So I hope you found this very useful. If you did, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody else who needs help to install this DLSS mod, make sure you share this video with them. If you're not part of the big wonderful fan bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan bam guys, are you going to play Starfield and what mods will you install? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.